Hello guys once more, my name is Fritz and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at solving simultaneous equations by the graphical method. Let us start by taking this example. We have the equation x plus y equals 3 and the equation x minus y equals minus 1. The first step is to make a table of values for each equation. So for the first equation we have a table of values for x and y and we take values very close to the origin very close to zero. Let us start by choosing any values of our choice, arbitrary values. For example, if x is equal to zero, then y will be equal to three. If x is equal to, if y now is equal to zero, then we will have the equation written as that an x will be equal to three. If x is equal to one, then we will have 1 plus y giving us 3. Therefore, the value of y must be 2. We now make a table of values equal to the second equation. We have x and y on the table. When x equals 0, we will have y to be equal to minus 1 because minus y is 1. If y is equal to 0, we will have x to be equal to 1. And if x is equal to 3, we will have 3 minus y giving us 1. Therefore, y must have a value of 2. Now, we have just chosen only 3 points for each of the equations. You can actually choose just 2 points and you sketch the lines. But it is very, very important to take 3 points. Why? Because the third point you take serves as a remedy. In case the 2 points don't fall on the line, the third point is going to indicate because at times you sketch a curve very well but there is a, an issue somewhere and when you plot the three points are not aligned they don't fall on a straight line it means that there is a problem and you have to go back and check your work if you take just two points you are not going to troubleshoot using this particular idea this now brings us to step two which is to sketch each line above so we move to our coordinate axis and we start with the first point when x is zero y is 3. x is 0, y is 3. As you can see, the star blinking. When x is 3, y is 0. It is 0. The next point is when x is 1, y is 2. And we now link these three points with a straight line. And this gives us the equation x plus y equals 3. We now move to the second equation where x is 0, y is minus 1. That is the star. When x is now 1, y is 0. And when is x is 3, y is 2. We link these three points and we obtain the equation x minus y equals 1. Now these two lines intersect at the point where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. And this gives us the solutions to this equation. Let us take another example. We have this system of equations making the table of values for x plus 2 y equals 1. When x is equal to, okay, let us start with y. If y is equal to 0, then we will have x to be equal to 1. If y is equal to 1, we will have x plus 2 giving us 1. And therefore, x must have a value of minus 1. Now, if x is equal to 3, we will have 3 plus 2y is giving us 1. And therefore, y must be equal to minus 1. The point x equals 0, y is equal to 0 0.5 can be used, but it is good to avoid fractions because they cannot be accurately plotted on the plane. Let's take the x plus y equals 0. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y will be equal to minus 1. Because 1 plus which number will give us 0? That number must be minus 1. When x is 2, y will be equal to minus 2. Because it's only 2 plus minus 2 that gives us 0. That brings us to step 2. And we'll start by plotting the points with 1, 0. The next point is minus 1, 1. The next point is 3, minus 1. We link them with a line giving us the equation x plus 2y equals 1. 
then the next equation we have the point is zero zero the next point is one minus one and the third is two minus two linking them gives us the equation x plus y equals zero and the point of intersection is the point where x is equal to minus one and y is equal to one which are the solutions to this equation let's take in another example the third we have this system of equation this one is a bit complex and making a table for the first equation we we'll start if x is zero y will be equal to three and then if x is equal to one we will have two times one which is two we will have two plus y to be equal to three and therefore y must be one if x is equal to two we will have two times two giving us four four plus y equals three therefore y must be minus one if y equals 0, x be my, will be 1.5. This can be used but try to avoid fractions like especially 1 third, 1 seven, and so on which cannot be graphed accurately on the plane. For the second equation, if y is equal to 0, x will be equal to 5. If x is 2, we will have 2 minus 3y is giving us 5 and y will therefore have to be equal to minus 1. If x is equal to minus 1, then we have minus 1 minus 3y is giving us 5 and y will have to be equal to minus 2. We now plot these points on the xy plane. We have the first point is 0, 3. The second is 1, 1. The third is 2 minus 1. We link them to form the equation. And then we have the next point 5, 0. We have 2 minus 1. And we have minus 1 minus 2. We start these two equations intersect at the points where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1. Um, let us take some remarks. If the lines are parallel, then there is no solution. This is because there is no point of intersection. Secondly, if one line lies on the other, then we have an infinite number of solutions. Thirdly, if the lines are at right angles, that is they are perpendicular or form an angle of 90 degree, there is equally just one solution. And in this case, in this case they are pro this, the product of their gradient to be equal to minus 1. The line AX plus BY equals C will slope upwards from left to right if A and B have opposite signs, e.g. 3X minus 4Y is equal to 6. The line will slope downwards from left to right if A and B have the same signs, e.g. 3X plus 4Y is equal to 6. And the equation AX plus BY equals C can also be written as Y equals MX plus K. And this is called the gradient intercept form as we will see shortly in coordinate geometry thank you for watching and there are other videos on quadratics networks and a lot on algebra bye bye